Assalamu alaikum dears, my silk is silk. In this short tutorial, SLK students present the quantities calculation of different materials per underground water tank. Remember, previously we have already learned the quantities calculation of different materials per circular underground water tank. If you have not watched that video yet, you can access the video by clicking the link in the description. The water tank may contain different items like excavation, PCC and RCC work, dead works, PVC stuff, stairs, gauges, pipes, and valves, etc. But our approach is not to calculate all of these items. Our approach is only to calculate excavation, PCC, and RCC work, and of course the steel used in RCC work. Before doing any calculation, I'll assume a rectangular water tank. Let's say this is the base of water tank, and that one is just a slab, right? And these are the walls, and this line just represents the steel in this RCC work. And let's say there's a manhole in this slab having 5-0 cm dia, and let's say this is just the plan of the tank, right? The tank size is 5 times 3 times 2 meters, or you can say 500 times 300 times 200 centimeters. Some other information are also given like the ground level and the slab thickness, the PCC thickness, and the steel is of course 1%. And lastly, the cantilever portion of the slab is just 3-0 centimeters. And let's say we are asked to work out the following items quantities, right? Excavation. PCC, RCC, and lastly the steel in RCC which is 1%. Alright, I think the data is just enough to calculate all these items, so I'll come straight into solution, right? And remember the solution I'll do just in a table. Let's spend a little time with the table, right? The first column in the table represents the description about the member or materials. And the next column represents the number of members. And the next one just represents the length of member and then the breadth and height of member. And when we multiply these four columns, the number, length, breadth, and the height of member, we get of course the quantity, which is the column QU, and then the next column represents the D marks. In this column, we just do a rough calculation. Now let's start the calculation over here. And the first thing I want to calculate is just excavation. Remember the tank is only one, so the number of excavation will be just one. And now what's the length of excavation? Remember the length of tank is known, which is 5 meters, but this is not enough. Because this is just internal length, we need the external length. So we'll just add 2 times of wall thickness per one side and another side. So the length of excavation will be just of course 5 plus 0.2 plus 0.2. Because 0.2 is just the thickness of RCC wall. So the length of excavation will be just 5.40 meters. And now what's excavation breadth? Remember the concept is just the same we did a few seconds ago for the length of excavation. Like the breadth of tank is 3 meters, so we'll add 2 times of wall thickness per one side and another side. So the breadth of tank will be just 3 plus 0.2 plus 0.2. So this is of course 3.40 meters. And now what's the depth or height of excavation? The depth or height of excavation is 2 meters plus the thickness of RCC floor plus the thickness of PCC work. Like you can say, 2 meters plus the thickness of RCC floor is just of course 20 centimeters or 0.2 meters plus 0.15 meters which is 15 centimeters. So of course 2 meters plus 0.2 plus 0.15 this is of course just 2.35 meters. If we multiply these four columns we can get of course the quantity of excavation which is 43.15 cubic meters. And the next thing I want to calculate is PCC work which is 148. Again the tank is only 1 so the PCC work will be just 1 in number. And the length of PCC work is the same as the length of excavation. So 5.40 meters will be the length. And the breadth is of course just the same also right. So 3.40 meters. The height will be just changed right. Look at the PCC work. The PCC work is 15 centimeters thick or you can say 0.15 meters. So the thickness of PCC work is 0.15 meters. When we multiply these four columns, we can get of course the quantity of PCC work which is 2.75 cubic meters. And now it's the number of RCC work. Remember the RCC work is in different places. Like the RCC work is in floor, walls and of course in slab. So I'll just calculate all these things separately and then I'll add them together, right? And let me just calculate the RCC work and floor first. This red rectangle just represents the RCC work and floor, right? So the tank is 1, the number will be 1. 
Now what's the length of RCC working floor? Just look at the drawings, right? This red rectangle just represent the area or the size of floor, which of course just satisfy that the length of RCC work and floor is just equal to the length of excavation or PCC work. So I can say the RCC work and floor have length equals 5.40 meters. When the length of RCC work and floor is equal to the length of PCC work, then I can say of course the breadth will be also the same, which is 3.04 meters. And the thickness is known, which is of course 20 centimeters or 0.20 meters. Just multiply these four columns, you can get of course the quantity of RCC work and floor, which is 3.67 cubic meters. And now RCC work and walls, right? Let me just calculate RCC work and walls. Here now it's a problem, right? I can do RCC work calculation per walls in two methods, or using two methods. The one is known by center line method, and the second one is known by long wall short wall method. Both methods will give the same result, so I'll just select only one, and let me calculate uh, this approach using long wall short wall method, right? Let me calculate the RCC work in long wall first, right? Where are long walls? How many number of long walls do we have? Just look at to the plan of the tank. Let me just divide these walls into a few walls, like in this palm, right? These dotted lines just separate these walls from each other, like in this palm, right? And let me say these two are just long walls, because the length of these two are just greater than the length of these remaining two, right? And the two two will represent the short walls. Now what's the length of long wall? This is of course just 5 meters plus 2 times of wall thickness per one side and another side, which is of course 20 centimeter. So the length of long wall will be just of course 5 plus 0.2 plus 0.2, which is of course 5.40 meters. And this is of course equal to the length of excavation or PCC work, of course RCC work in floor, right? And how many number of long walls do we have? Of course, two, right? And the length of long wall is just 5.40 meters. And now what's the breadth of long wall? This is already known, which is 20 centimeters or 0 0.20 meters, right? And the height of long wall will be just, of course, two meters, which is the interior depth or height of the tank. Just multiply these four columns, we'll get, of course, the long wall quantity, which is 4.32 cubic meters. And now it's the number of short walls. Remember, the short walls are also two in number. What's the length of short wall? Nothing will be changed, right? The length of short wall will be just, of course, three meters because the end portions are already taken with the long walls. So the length of short wall will be only three meters. And the breadth is the same and the height is the same. Just multiply these four columns, we'll get, of course, the quantity of short walls, which is 2.40 cubic meters. And now what's the RCC work, or how much RCC work do we have in slave? Just look at this red rectangle, right? This red rectangle represents the area covered by the slave. So the area covered times the thickness of slave will be the quantity of RCC work in slave. And remember, the number of slaves are 1, so I'll put 1 in the second column. And now what's the length of slave? Of course, the length of slave is 5 meters plus 2 times of wall thickness per one side and another side, which is 20 centimeters, plus the cantilever portion of the slave, which is 30 centimeters or 0 0.30 meters. Do a simple mathematic, we'll get, of course, the length of slab equals 6 meters. So the length of slab is 6 meters. Now what's the breadth of slab? Of course, the same method will be used. Like, the breadth of slab means 3 meters plus 0.2 plus 0.2 per wall thickness per one side and another side plus the cantilever portion of slab per one side and another side. This is, of course, 4 meters. So the slab breadth is 4 meters. And the thickness of slab is known which is 15 centimeters or 0 0.15 meters. Do some maths. 
Like just multiply these four columns, we'll get of course the quantity of RCC work in slab, which is of course 3.60 cubic meters. To get the total RCC work, we just add all these four guys, like the RCC work in floor, RCC work in walls, and the RCC work in slab. This is of course 13.99 cubic meters. But if you see in the drawings, there is a manhole in a slab having 15 centimeter diameters. So we'll just do deduction for this hole, right? The tank is only one, so the number of manhole will be just one, right? And how much quantity should I deduct for manhole? Of course, just the volume of manhole. And the volume of manhole will be just the area of manhole times the thickness of slab, right? And the area of manhole will be pi r square or just pi d squared divided by 4. Let me just calculate this approach using pi r square. Now what's the radius of manhole? Remember the diameter of manhole is just pi of 0 centimeters. So the radius will be half of the diameter. Or you can say the radius will be just 25 centimeters. So the area of manhole will be pi times 0 0.2 pi f square times the thickness of slab which is of course 15 centimeters or 0.15 meters. By doing some short maths we can get of course the volume of manhole which is 0.029 cubic meters. Now what's the total net RCC work? Of course just the total grass RCC work minus deduction per manhole. This is of course 13.96 cubic meters. And my next approach is to calculate the steel work, right? And the steel work is only 1% of RCC work. And 1% means 1 divided by 100. So if the steel in 100 is 1, how much should be at in RCC work, which is 13.96 cubic meters? We can get, of course, 0.1396 cubic meter is the volume of steel used in RCC works. This is in palm up volume, right? What will be the weight of this steel work? Let me just calculate the weight of steel over here. Remember the weight of steel means the volume times the unit weight of steel. The volume of steel work is only 0.139 cubic meters and the unit weight of steel will be just different for different types of steel work, right? But mostly in construction work we use mild steel and the weight or unit weight of mild steel is just of course 7850 kg per cubic meter. By multiplying these both guys, like the volume times the unit weight, we'll get of course the weight of steel equals 1096 kg of mild steel. And this is it. And at the end, if the video was helpful, make sure you just thumbs up for the video. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time.